Hello, uh, this is Morten Lacour and I would like to demonstrate BizTalk Tracker for you. Now, before getting started, let me just point out here that BizTalk Tracker is a non-intrusive uh, view, uh, tracking view of, uh, of your existing BizTalk environment. So, um, what it actually does uh, to a certain extent is just show you what you can already see here in your group hub today. Uh, track messages and uh, actually, you know, viewing whether or not the message is tracked and in case it is tracked, you want to see the message body and so on and so on. But what we've done with this talk tracker, if, if I just uh, let you have a, a, a look here, is um, is simply to say, hey, let's just try and um, and, and and show the the viewer what we usually seek out um, when viewing BizTalk track. So what we've actually done is that we have said we're going to assume that we have a receive port and a send port uh, for our BizTalk flows, uh, and we're going to show them in one line. Whereas today, if you go into your um, track service instances or uh, track message events, you're going to see each instance in one line. So you will actually have a receive port here and a send port here, and you have uh, no idea uh, whether or not these two are actually correlated. So we've actually chosen to, to view this correlation uh, and, and show both receive and send side in one line, if you will. Now these data are not very interesting because you can actually see right now that there's no body tracking going on right here because if the, if, if there had been body tracking, uh, these texts would actually have become an anchor so you would be able to click on them and actually view the body. So let's just try and search for part of a port name here. If I just go and search for a port name called something with EDI and choose all because I apparently don't have any EDI within this time frame but I'm pretty sure if I if I choose all up here just search you know through my the whole of my tracking database I will find some some edit factor orders here and uh, I can go and view my message I can even indent if I want to and uh, of course I can see okay so I actually received this order through this receive port with this URL somewhere here Yep, through this port, um, and uh, they, it was actually debatched into three individual messages and sent through this send port. And I'm also able to see the XML uh, coming out uh, of the send port here. And again, I'm able to indent. Now, if you want to save your XML file, all you have to do is click on Save XML, and your um, original um, message body will be saved uh, onto your local um, hard drive. So that's also pretty cool. Now let's just clear everything here because we also have, as you can see here, some custom properties. Now as you may be aware of, it's actually possible to promote uh, custom properties inside BizTalk and then search these custom properties by first choosing a schema name and if you choose a schema name that actually has some promoted properties, there's not, no, no such thing here, uh, then you will actually be able to search for them. But again, you have to choose, let's actually see, I have an order here that might be, uh, nope, I can't find any right here. But anyway, let's actually try and see, okay, I want to, um, I want to see if there's any sender IDs called web and just search. And then, as you can see here, I'm actually able to search for uh, custom promoter properties and I'm actually able to search for them across different message types. You can see here I both get an employee and a transport. So these are different message types uh, with the same sender ID equals web. So I am able to search cross uh, uh, message types here. And again, I can of course click on them, view them. Okay, so this is XML. And uh, what have you. So let me uh, just clear this again and show you something else. You can also just, you know, if you want to search for errors, you can search. And again, I need to select all here. See, okay, has anything gone bad here? And yes, it has. And you can actually see the actual error message and so on and so on. And you would be able to see the message here if it was, if the message body was in fact tracked, uh, which it isn't in this case. So that's pretty much it, and of course you're also able to just you know search by part of the message type. Say, hey, I want uh, an invoice, uh, something called invoice here, and I'm just going to get all of my different invoices. And again, you can see I have a max here, so I'm only getting 10. Let's say I wanted 50, 
Let's actually go in there. It only gives me 14, so there's only 14 invoices right now in the whole of my tracking database. And some of them has even gone wrong here, as we were able to see this instance was terminated by the user, and so on and so on. Um, also, what you're able to do is, uh, so let's actually uh, show something else here first. Now, let's say you were you weren't too pleased with this uh, very not human readable name here that BizTalk typically gives its, uh, its message types. You can actually translate them by going into a configuration file here and just typing this and then pipe and say whatever. So let's just call this a demo order. And let's just save my, um, my configuration file and uh, my website is going to need to refresh since the web config file has has um, uh, has been tampered with so let's again just go here and say give me some invoices please i think this is what i did before right? okay and now you can see that the um, the full BizTalk message name that was there before has now been um, has now been translated into a much more human readable name. So this is nice if you want some, you know, non BizTalk personnel to also view and track messages uh, through this site. Now, what's also possible to do is to set up alerts. You can set up alerts for both message type, which I haven't done here, or ports. So for instance, let's say we have these uh, four ports here. You can actually go and say, hey, I need to see stuff coming through this port uh, within, uh, so what would that be, uh, approximately 15 days or maybe 14 days. So if I haven't seen anything coming through here within 14 days, I want an alert. And the same for this and this, and you can actually see the last uh, of, of, of the send, the last three of these send ports uh, actually do throw an alert right now. This demo sent BizTalk actually, uh, BizTracker never actually received any messages from. And the other two are too late. We haven't seen anything since April here, and we expected something like uh, today. So this is this is an alert I've set up. You know that we need something each hour or something uh, similar. So uh, that's pretty much it. And again, this uh, refresh is once every five or ten minutes. That's actually also configurable. Um, and and when it does that, you can actually you know set this up on a board because this is a proactive alerting that you don't really get out of the box in BizTalk because BizTalk today can only give alerts if something goes wrong. But the very fact that you don't receive any messages is not considered an error in BizTalk. So that can also be very useful. All right. So. Um, I guess that sort of sums up my uh, my technical demo of uh, BizTalk Tracker. Thank you for watching, and I hope you want to try out the product for free.